farm. A little quick update. I bought this garage in a box. I got so this two guys, two hours. I've been working on it for two days by myself, but I finally got the frame up. Oh, we got the ATV back from the shop. 200 bucks later and runs great. Can't wait to check that out. But I started putting the end up and it got a little windy. So I thought I better just pack it in for today and then because it's not tied down or nothing yet. But it's pretty sturdy, but at least there's nothing for the wind to catch. But anyways, a little update in the farm. I did some trimming, choke cherry as they call it, on some trees, threw it in there, and the chickens and goat are eating the choke cherries. They love it. You guys are little piggies. I didn't know they ate them, but nobody's died from it, so I guess it must be all right for them. Yeah, what the chickens get, the goats get, vice versa. Share among the bounty of the land. Everybody else, you can see over there getting a drink. There we go. Well, keep your feet out of the way, it won't get stepped on. There we go. They're drinking water and running around, but yeah, it's turned out pretty good. A little windy, a storm coming in, but the last couple of days have been so hot. I'm probably gonna have to roll that up because it'll blow away. But anyways, let's go along here. Got the tractor out here. Got a flat tire. Waiting for the patch kit coming Monday. I just what I do, I just pump it up. But yeah, she's not too flat yet. Still gotta work on that yet. The weather cuff. But anyways, these monsters are growing awesome. These are my, some of these are going to be six to eight feet tall. And then I got the smaller ones in between. Well, I didn't even notice their last couple of weeks when I drove away one day going the other way. And this is what's happening. They're all budding. They're beautiful. Look. Beautiful, beautiful. I probably won't sell them. The, the bees. Is it food for the bees? Because next year I'm getting a load of bees. So I just want to try out the ground. This is the only thing that's really grown good, but look at how high they are. I'm way over my head. But yeah, those are beautiful plants. They're doing really well. This is $2 of the seed. But here's where I got the choke cherries. This is a choke cherry tree. So I'm probably a right. I won't cut the rest of that down. What it does is I trimmed a couple out. I just give them the scraps. But look at the backside. Eh? There's, oh, there's one little tiny flower down here. But you can see. They're just starting to open. That's what it looks like. Looks pretty good. The whole row of them are mid size. These are medium size. Some that got three in a row because I dropped the seeds by <laughs> one or two seeds at a time. Just to make sure. But she's growing good. These ones are probably going to be tall too, but because they're not too, but because they're not budding yet. They got a little tiny bud in there, but they're about four feet tall. And there's the choke cherries. I'll probably leave this tree here and then pick from it on next year. But what I did, I chopped one down because I wanted to see my flowers in the road. And that's what I did. <clears throat> Choke cherry. Yeah. Give this to the goats. But yeah, I cleaned up here because you couldn't see nothing. But you can see there's choke cherries there and the hydro wires are right above. So. But yeah, everything's coming in. These are growing nice. There's a little spacer. I think I changed packages. Couldn't remember where I was leaving. But look at They're so beautiful. There's probably over a thousand when they're done. Of flowers. But yeah, let's uh, let's go up here. They know they see me coming. Choke Jerry Heaven. Sorry, I threw it on top of it. But they love them. They go nuts for them. Branches and all. But you can see the chickens pick up whatever they don't eat, squish or whatever. They strip them pretty bare. Enjoy, girls. But anyway, another update. The girl who went broody there a couple of months ago, or three weeks ago, she had one baby. And I put the boys in this coop out here and they all jumped on the roof and jumped across, which is 30 feet. And whack back to their beds. So I'm not going to try to fight that. So I did. I fenced it off. See if I don't trip. 
and it's all built like a little shader here but i won't let them out yet because the baby's too young it's only two days four days six days old at the most but there they are mama and baby cute little thing it's black you gonna look like mom i don't know who the father is but you're never doing chickens but they seem to enjoy it out here now they're out here by themselves instead of locked in the cat care she's having fun so she just watches her mom see and then when she digs the little one looks for it don't hit your baby <laughs> first time mom she's doing good eventually when they get older i'll let her out but cute little baby so, mom on her baby so that's the update for the farm got the fence all the way around oh there's my hammer I got this all bush hog, like I said before. The back side of it. It's taking that one stinking better. But here's the fire pit when I ever do fire, have a fire. Let's go in here, sit, chill, have a couple of brewskis. Here's the back side to make him all I'm gonna put a screen on there tonight. I don't a raccoon could probably squeeze in a hole. But we want to make sure nothing can. Precious lives inside. The window's in, he's got the door to open. You better lock that door now. The locker in. There. Put a lock on it. But yeah, that's the update for the farm. Everybody's doing good. Looks like a mess out here right now, but slowly and surely. I'll get her cleaned up. I think I'm gonna this this all came with the coop for 250 bucks. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this wire. Probably build a little run for them. So they can come outside, probably do that tomorrow, if I don't have to work. But yeah, that's the update. You can see the goats think this grass is greener on the other side. Get your hat out of there, silly. Thank you. All right. Rooster on rooster action, fighting. All right. Like and subscribe until I post again. Last shot of oh, one last thing. I took my front end loader, the tractor, and the septic cover was kind of dipped in there. So what I did, I filled it in with dirt, ran the ATV over a couple times, made sure it was running good, like the guy said, and it was. But there was a big, made a mess of my lawn, but the rain will take care of that. There was a big hump there with flowers in. I didn't know, so I gave them to all of my friend Lisa, and then flatten her out so I gotta go get some grass seed seed that up it looks so much better there was like mice and a couple snakes in there and a couple moles but less to go but yeah just waiting for the grass to come back I flattened it out we did it in the rain because it was softer to move but uh, there's the pipe from the basement from the furnace waiting on the repair guy to give me a coat it really slowed here it's been a week the chimney's rotted out at the bottom but Let's just quit eight done the farm and like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one last shot of my truck